My name is Benjamin Knight Mangum, and I am a fifth great grandson of Joseph Knight Sr. In June 1830, a group of Knight and Peck family members in Colesville, New York, wanted to be baptized in the newly organized Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, led by the prophet and family friend Joseph Smith. A dam had been built across the stream to create a pond for the planned baptism service. A group of angry men tore down, so the dam had to be rebuilt and a few people were baptized before another angry mob came and interrupted them. This time they brought the Colesville Sheriff and Joseph Smith was arrested for disturbing the peace. Joseph Smith left Colesville before he was able to confirm any of the people who were baptized and the family faced harassment from their neighbors. Chains were dumped in rivers and wagons were turned upside down. Two weeks later, a mob chased Joseph Smith and Oliver Cowdery away when they returned to confirm those who had been baptized. Two months later, and very determined to return to Colesville, Joseph and his brother Hiram, along with John and David Whitmer, called on our Heavenly Father and prayed earnestly that they could meet with the Knight family and that the eyes of the enemy would be blinded so that they might not be known and would be able to return without any incidents. Their prayers were answered when they returned to Colesville and saw a large company working on a public road. In the company were some of their most bitter enemies. The workers looked earnestly at Joseph's group, but they failed to recognize them. So Joseph Smith and his other friends were able to go to the night home. Through that miracle, Joseph was able to reach the night home and meet with saints. He said, that evening, we assembled the church, confirmed them, partook of the sacrament, and held a happy meeting, having much to rejoice in the God of our salvation. Joseph Knight Jr. said the night of confirmation was the greatest time I ever saw. The house was filled with the Holy Ghost which rested upon us.